Hey guys, it's Dewey. Welcome to the channel where we check out some of the craziest custom maps and modes from different games. If you've ever dreamed like I have of building maps in Battlefield with destructible environments, today is your day. I'm Dewey McCoy and this is your step-by-step -step ultimate guide to creating custom maps in Battlefield 6. We'll cover everything today from firing up the map editing in Godot to scripting basic rules and sharing your map. No prior experience? No problem. This is for total newbies, incoming forgers, and pros alike. If you're hyped, smash that like button and subscribe for more custom Battlefield content. And for now, let's dive in. So to get started, go over to portal.battlefield.com. Make sure you're on the Battlefield 6 portal side. Hit start creating and sign in to continue. Once you do that, you'll be at this page. As you can see here, I have some maps that are unpublished. But nothing will be here for you. You'll just go here to download SDK. Once the file has downloaded, make sure to extract the files. Once the folder has been extracted, go ahead and click inside and you'll see this Godot executable. I'm going to run that. It should look just like this when you open it up. What we're going to want to do is open up the Godot project folder and this project file right here. Drag that into Godot. And now you'll see Battlefield Portal Project. Now just uh, double click on here to open it. It might take a little bit to load, but this is our first time, so we're going to want to make sure that we hit Portal Setup, and that will set up Python in a virtual environment for Portal. Once that's done setting up, we're going to want to go to open a scene, go to Levels, and these are the nine included levels with Battlefield Launch. Hopefully we get some more of these eventually, uh, maybe some blank slates. Just for today, we're going to click on Limestone. It may take a second to load. You may not notice that it's loaded in, but sometimes you can look up or around. So now that we've made it onto the map that we want to work on, you can go down here to Object Library and click on MP Limestone. Now these will be all of the assets that you can use within this map. There's also some shared objects that can be found here. Some work on this map, some work on other maps. It just kind of depends. You have to kind of play around with uh, what works where. But all of the limestone map assets work on the limestone map. So just make sure you have these two the same and you can add anything you want. Quick tip to get started here. If we select our static mesh, terrain mesh, we can right click and do editable children click the mesh and do that one more time and now we have a terrain mesh with that terrain mesh we can click here on this tab and create a collision shape and that collision shape needs to be a static body child it will add a collision mesh to your terrain so when you go to add in objects they stay level with the terrain and if you're moving it like this, and you kind of want to grab it the same way that you grabbed it from the menu, you just make sure the item's selected and push Shift G. And that will follow your mouse around until you click. So that's a little bit easy way to kind of place stuff quickly down on the map. If you want to build a custom map, you don't need this terrain mesh. I recommend building it in the air. The way to do that is to just put some flooring in the air like this and then anything that you put on top of it will act the same way. Within Godot you can have add-ons that make it a little bit easier. You have Godot add-ons by Matt Avatar. I'm just going to download those. Once those are downloaded we're going to extract all once again. Open those up copy the folders, go into your portal, .s, portal SDK, go into Godot project, go to add-ons, and you can paste the folders into here. To enable these plugins, you have to go to asset lib, then plugins, and check all of the ones that you want to use. Now if we go back into our 3D tab, 
we can move our duplicator into here so it's a little bit neater. If we duplicate this object by hitting Control D and then moving it, you can see I'm trying to kind of put it close, but I gotta really zoom in, get it really close. But if magnet snap, if you have it on and select the right range, get it close and hit V, it will snap directly to the other one. The spacer add-on evenly spaces objects already placed in the map. The duplicator add-on, you select which asset you want to duplicate, double check your counts that you want, so I want probably 10 on the Z and 10 on the X. And if you hit duplicate, it'll duplicate the item. You can also add spacing if you want, but I, would, I just want a solid floor. So hit duplicate grid, and there we go. Now all of these will be individual tiles. So if you want to group them together, we can come over here to the left side and select all of the flooring. Right click, reparent to a new node, node 3D. Now if we minimize this and just click the node 3D, we can move this all as one object. Let me place a few assets down here. And you can kind of see why we would need the recolorizer tool as well. So all of my assets are white, so it's really hard to see. So if we use the recolorizer add-on, you hit colorize all, and it will randomly colorize each object. So it's a little bit easier to see. You can also add your spawn points and all that stuff into there. Or just select one, hit shift G. You can put one team over here, the other team, shift G over there. Now we want to kind of move our play area to be within our teams there. If you want to adjust this play area, you can just go like this. Move the points. If you want to delete points, you can go here. Just delete. Another thing that you're going to want to do if you want Conquest, Rush, or any of the official game modes. We have to find the capture point, MCOM, Polygon Volume. We'll also need it an area trigger. So now I'm going to try to run through how to set up a capture point for Conquest. Right here we have a capture point, a area trigger, and a polygon volume. This area trigger, link it to the polygon volume. If you read in the readme file, area trigger objects when paired with a polygon volume can be used to trigger events in scripting such as on player enter trigger, on player exit trigger. And the way we get to call that out, we come over here to object ID on the capture point. If we set this to, let's say, 501, and we'll do 502 for B and 503 for the C flag, we can call this number out within the scripting after we get the map closer to being done. Within the capture point, we also want to set up the capture area, which is also the polygon volume. If you want to be able to spawn on the flag, you will need a player spawner as well. That player spawner can be linked to that polygon volume. With MCOM stations, they're basically the same thing as a capture point, but you don't need any of the area trigger volumes because you're not walking into an area. You're walking up to the NCOM and pushing the button. But this one also has an object ID that can be called. For this one, we're going to use 1001, so 501 for the capture points and 1001 for the MCOMs. Make sure that you do a save as and close and reopen Godot before you export to make sure that the export current level name is changed. 
once you export your level you're going to want to go back to portal.battlefield.com hit create new portal custom default and start editing for these mode settings we can just skip we can go straight to map rotation so we're doing MP limestone which is Saints quarter so we're going to want to make sure we select that on battlefield portal deselect this Saints quarter Un unchecked include default spatial data attached spatial JSON should be in export levels guide test spatial then go through and make sure you set up all of the things that you want if you want bots you can hit backfill here's the block editor custom TypeScript scripting and publish so from here gonna rename my map go to step 2 choose a thumbnail and from here do not go to step 3 go here to save make sure everything looks correct and hit create new back to projects you can see here guide test modified right now so if we hop back into battlefield we should see our map and as you can see the bots are running everyone's shooting at each other and we've got an MCOM over there and a flag over there that does not work because it's not scripted we will get there getting the MCOM and the capture point set up with everything is just the first start from here you should be able to change everything on Portal's website and get everything to work. Now this part is where I need you guys' help. I put together a script as best as I could, but not everything is correctly set up. So I posted the JSON file down below in case you want to import it into Portal, mess with it, and see what you can come up with. If you can find a solution to this, I'll make sure to shout out you in the video and make an updated video showing how to correctly implement everything that we figured out. When you're finally done with your map and all your scripting, you can go to the third step and publish your map. It can take up to three hours for your map to pop up, so make sure that you play test before publishing. Usually if you can just save it and then go into game before it's published, you can test within a few minutes of it updating and refreshing. Once you finally get your map published and ready to go, if you want to come over here to my Discord, I have a map submittal. Here, you can share done maps that you want me to check out for a YouTube video. You can get Godot add-ons showed in the video. Or you can help me with my custom game mode script that we will be working on in the community. And once we get that, I will be closing the post. So if you see it open, we still need some help. And I will always be posting the most updated file in there. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. Join the Discord if you want to help out on some of the stuff that we're working on. And stay tuned for the next video. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.